Welcome to the Gypsum Stories. Today let's go to France, an hour's drive from Paris. We're meeting Xavier Meyer, the circular economy leader for the Saint Gobain Group. Xavier will help us to understand how we can recycle plaster balls. Uh, so Vaujour is the biggest uh, plaster plant or plaster bore plant uh, we have in the uh, inside Saint Gobain. Uh, we are uh, using for manufacturing uh, between 900 and 950,000 tons of uh, virgin rock, uh, virgin gypsum rock in this plant. Uh, two thirds of the, uh, of the gypsum uh, rock uh, which is used is for the, uh, for the uh, production of plaster balls and one third is for production of plaster. Plasterboard is not a product which can travel in long, long distances, which means that uh, there is 50% uh, of the production of plasterboards from this plant which are serving the North French market. And the rest is uh, kept in France, but to serve other uh, regional markets. And a way to, uh, to, to, to preserve these resources is to look at uh, possible substitutions uh, and uh, the, main substitu the main possible substitution is to use uh, recycled gypsum. You know, uh, gypsum has this uh, very nice property of being uh, fully recyclable. It starts with uh, the one who is generating the waste. Uh, this is on the job site, so we can have uh, two kinds uh, of gypsum waste generated. One is during the construction phase, when we are installing new plaster boards, uh, we, are making, uh, we are generating offcuts. Uh, this represents what we call the construction waste. And on the other hand, during uh, renovation projects or demolition deconstruction projects, we are also generating waste. Uh, in particular gypsum waste, and uh, this waste is called uh, demolition or deconstruction waste, okay? With different typologies, because you can imagine that for the second one, uh, it will be uh, a bit more complicated to, uh, to access to a, a qualitative, uh, qualitative material. So this is the first actor. Then uh, on the recycling value chain, you have the intermediate actors who are collecting, transporting, sorting. So we usually talk about uh, waste management companies. We have the reprocessing step. It's where the, the, uh, the, the, the waste which has been sorted uh, will be transformed into a valuable summary raw material able to be used in the process. Okay, so we have uh, this reprocessing step which is managed either by um, external partners or it can be managed directly by the plant itself the plasterboard plant itself. And then at the end, we have the end user, uh, which in our case will be the plasterboard, so the, uh, the, the gypsum industry, let's say. Uh, probably the, 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 the most important one is, uh, is the, the financial uh, consideration. Uh, recycled material remains uh, more costly than uh, the, uh, the the, the gypsum rock. Uh, another important barrier is the quality. Uh, in, in fact, the, the, the chemical composition, if you want, of the, of the gypsum uh, as a core in the recycled gypsum is exactly the same as the chemical of the composition of the, uh, of the, of the gypsum, uh, which comes from, uh, from a quarry uh, or from, uh, from a mine. And so, uh, in fact, the limitation is due to the quality of the recycled gypsum. Uh, which uh, contains some impurities, which also contains uh, uh, residual uh, paper content, okay? because we are not able to remove completely 100% all the paper contained in the, in the, in the plasterboard. And this makes the, uh, the, the limitation at the end of what we can use in terms of recycled gypsum in a plasterboard. Yes, uh, we will need to decrease uh, the cost of the recycled raw material, and this could be possible by increasing the cost of landfilling. 
it will help finding a way for different actors to, uh, uh, to, 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 to become competitive with, uh, with a recycling solution versus uh, a solution going to landfill, if you want. In order to, uh, to, to limit uh, these uh, quality problems, uh, a good way is to push uh, towards deconstruction versus demolition or selective demolition versus, you know, uh, uh, complete demolition in order to, uh, uh, to, to, to segregate the different wastes per, per material on the early stage, on the job sites. And this is a good way to ensure a good quality at the end and to ensure that uh, most, uh, most of the material uh, which are on the job sites will be able to find a way uh, for recycling. Uh, I will tend to say yes, yes, if uh, we succeed to have uh, the good quality for the uh, secondary raw material, so for the recycled gypsum. Uh, gypsum is one of the products uh, where I consider recycling is possible and is less difficult than others. For me, clearly, tomorrow we will we'll see more and more uh, gypsum waste being recycled and the industry needs uh, this, uh, uh, this material as a substitute to the virgin raw materials and also considering that the DSG coming from uh, the coal-fired power stations will decrease and so we also have to, to find a way to balance uh, this uh, reduction of uh, DSG.